Welcome to Leaf Hydroponic Farms. Today we will talk about setting up drip irrigation for grow bag system of hydroponic farming or you can say grow bag system of soilless hydroponic farming. Now the first we begin with the components. Where do we start? Here we start with a irrigation controller which controls the entire irrigation process on the farm. This irrigation controller is of the company Kerin and it is Pro X if you can see here. Now this irrigation controller can control irrigation into 16 sections of the polyhouse. Whether these 16 sections or sectors are there within one polyhouse or you have two sections in each polyhouse of half acre and you have the eight uh, polyhouses at one farm. This is quite sufficient to control irrigation process in all the 16 sections. Now what it controls? The first thing is there is a timer. There is a battery which keeps the time and there is a timer. And then after the timer, you can set the timer as per the normal time, which is 4.18 now. Then you can set the watering days. That how many days you should water. Should you water every day? Should you water alternate days? Should we water after two days? Or you skip on Monday? You skip on Sunday. There is another function. You can skip the days. You water for one day, skip two days, one day, skip two days. This function is also available in this. Then you can set on this the start time. What time your watering should start? Should it start at 6 o'clock in the morning? And should it end at 6 o'clock in the evening? Depending on the number of cycles. Then you can set the time for every cycle. The recurrent irrigation. That whether I want to irrigate today for 5 minutes or I want to irrigate today for 10 minutes or for 18 minutes depending on the amount of water you want to irrigate your plant with. So this all can be set up in this. If at any stage you feel that the time required is very less or you missed a system a cycle because of some problem of electricity or something in that case you can set up it to manually operate. So you can override manually also this is a wonderful equipment you must have on your hydroponic system if you are doing drip irrigation in grow bags. This is a wonderful instrument and which is very accurate, very reliable. It has a rain sensor also. If there is rain outside, then it will not water on that particular day. So this is first requirement of a drip irrigation system. This particular equipment also fires the irrigation pump. Now about the irrigation pump, if you look here, we have irrigation pump which is just 1.5 horsepower. Some people say 7 horsepower, 5 horsepower, 6 horsepower. It is not required at all. This is a long head motor of uh, Crompton uh, which has a head of 65 meter and the discharge is 6500 to 8000 liters per hour which is a sufficient discharge for hydroponic system. So this one electric pump or 1.5 horsepower pump can give water or serve the irrigation purpose of a polyhouse or of a farm which has 16 sectors. 16 sector means it has got almost 8 acre of farm. So this particular pump can serve that. Then this pump drives, take water from the uh, RO and then it drives this system. This is the nutrient dispensation system which is very very accurate. We will discuss about this when we will discuss about the nuclear dispensation system. So like this, you can have this system in your head house at one place where you control the irrigation, drip irrigation for your grow bag system. Now we will talk about how to set up in the grow bags the drip irrigation system. Let us go to the poly house. Now we are into the poly house to see how the drip irrigation system for grow bag system of hydroponic farming or you can say soilless farming is fixed in the poly house. Now you see first of all we will see some of the components. The first thing is your main pipe. The main head pipe normally we use is 40 OD, 40 mm which is available. It's a PVC pipe which can be connected and it forms a long lateral. Okay then this is connected to the lateral which is a 16 mm pipe like this it is a PVC pipe again which fits into it 
Now what will you have to do is you will have to drill holes like this you know in line with the line of the grow bags. These holes are drilled with the help of very small instrument which is nothing but a smallest hole saw tool. This smallest hole saw tool will drill a hole of 16 mm very comfortably. Once you drill this hole you have to fix the GTO. GTO is general takeoff equipment or general takeoff uh, a small uh, you know outlet. So this is normally done with the help of a grommet. These grommets are 16 mm grommet. It has two portions. One is this which is with a collar and other is plain. So the collar portion of the grommet should go into the pipe like this. You fit the grommet into the pipe and then in the grommet you have to fix the GTO. This GTO has got two ends. One end is having a collar and the second is having end is having two collars. So the one collar end should go into this. You can apply a little bit of water and then or wet it or don't apply oil because if you apply oil that oil will go into your nutrient system which is not uh, a right thing to do. So this grommet will fix uh, this this GTO will fix into the grommet. Under no pressure this GTO will come out. There may be little leakage in the beginning but that will settle. Then this grommet will support this 16 mm tube on it which is called lateral which runs longitudinally. If you see here it runs longitudinally over the grow bags. Now this 16 mm tube is made in a fashion that there are two lines. Some of the tubes they have one line. So these lines, some people say, the drip irrigation people say, oh, you should not bother about the lines. But I say you must bother about these lines because these lines are there on the tube in order to ensure that your emitters are placed on the same side of the tube so that there is no distortion in the tube. Once the tube is distorted, the life of the tube will also be, uh, you know, reduced. And secondly, the tube will also not be in place. Now, how then you fix the emitters into this. The emitters are fixed with the help of a very small tool. This is a punch which is available. Automatic punch is also there but the manual punch is also there. So you will have to punch a small hole into in between these two lines. Next hole also you will cut in, in between these two lines and then in this you are to fix the emitters. If you see these are two emitters of different color. These are gen irrigation emitters and every irrigation company they have their emitters of different colors with different uh, capacity to release water in drip irrigation. These are pressure compensated emitters. There are two kinds of emitters. One is non-pressure compensated, one is pressure compensated and anti-drip. Now what do these two terms mean? Pressure compensated means if the pressure of the pipe or the within the pipe in irrigation system goes to any extent or is reduced to any extent up to a certain limit, the dripper will give you 4 liters per hour only. It will not give you more water with more pressure and less water with less pressure. It will give you the same water whatever the pressure is. And the second thing is that the moment the, the system stops, the moment the system stops, the drip irrigation will also stop. There will not be any dripping after the system stops. So these are called pressure compensated and they are color coded. This is brown which is a 4 liter per hour. This is gray this time. It is also 4 liter per hour but there is red, there is a green which is up to 8 liter per hour from 2 liter per hour. So this type of emitter you can put this emitter into the lateral by simply pressing it. A click of sound will come like this and this will fit here emitter. So like this you can fix the emitter at a prefix distance. Why prefix distance? We will talk about that also and then you can put on this the manifold. Now sometime you make a wrong hole. Suppose you here make a wrong hole which you do not want to use. In that case very small buds are available this kind. These buds you can fix into these holes and these holes will stop watering. So this type of thing is also available if you by mistake make any hole. Now when you were at the start of any uh, lateral you have two pieces, one small piece, then you link it or you connect it to the main lateral through this valve. 
this is you can say a wall which turns off and on this is a very useful thing because at any stage if you want to turn off a particular or stop water going into a particular lateral then you can put it off or you can put it on so like this you can have a better control on your irrigation now many people buy these things which are very light and very uh, you know reasonably priced you must go for the best quality and the best quality is available in the market which will last longer which will be more accurate which will stop your flow of water at a particular time whenever you want now at the end of every lateral at the end of every lateral you have to close the end now how to close the end there are many type of end caps available but the cheapest end cap is like this so what you do is you simply turn the lateral and then you put the other end also through it like this now this end is closed so the lateral will not leak here now once you set up the lateral like this in a longitudinal way as if you have seen here then you have to fix the manifolds now if you see here this is a 4 is to 1 manifold this is the 4 is to 1 manifold uh this one now it feeds four plants so once the emitter emits 4 liter per hour one dripper of this manifold will deliver 1 liter per hour so it is simply push in you push into it and then every plant can have there are two plants in every grow bag so you can have four drippers like this aero dripper they are called so they will give irrigation 1 liter per hour so regarding the calculation of irrigation how to calculate the amount of water to be irrigated how to calculate the system delivery that how much water your drip irrigation system will deliver in one hour how much it will deliver in one mar one minute that calculation we will do in a separate video because these calculation sometime people say oh let some irrigation expert do it it is not a rocket science you know basic mathematics you can always calculate your delivery of your particular system what are the limitation factors as they say the limit is the weakest link of the chain is the strength of the chain so in the whole irrigation system drip irrigation system you will have to find out which is your weakest point weakest point means which is the place where your smallest amount of water passes in one hour and that is where your calculation will be limited to so this calculation how to do it we will discuss in a separate video like this we will keep on disseminating the knowledge how to set up a hydroponic farm whether it is a nft whether it is grow bag whether it is a deep water culture whether it is anything else all components of the hydroponic system we will keep on discussing in our on our channel if you feel that this video is worth anything to you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever we put a, a new video and also like our video and share with your friends if you really feel that this kind of videos are helpful you in setting up a hydroponic farm or operating a hydroponic farm thank you very much